Yo and hello. Um, I read volume two of Dan to Dan. Dan to Dan. Dan to Dan. Whatever you, however you want to pronounce it, it's really not a big deal. Um, and in volume two, um, things kind of where we left off before is that they were actively running away from Turbo Granny, and um, for the meantime, they kind of managed to defeat Turbo Granny. But it turns out that all these, all these like lost, disappeared girls that Turbo Granny was kind of protecting. And that's why she's hanging out in that tunnel. It seems like for now they were, they managed to defeat her. Defeat Turbo Granny. They head back home. They're actually eating the crab that Turbo Gr that that came from the giant Turbo Granny crab, which is kind of weird and hilarious. But then it's like the adventure seems like it's over. You know, Okaroon's just like, well, I guess um, he's kind of wondering like, you know, it's like, oh, well, anyway, I guess this is over. I don't know if you never, you know, if you're gonna hang out later or not. I guess it doesn't really seem like it. So Okaroon just kind of starts to leave. I also, he's like, oh, I'll see you later. See you tomorrow. Like, oh, they're like, you know, she's actually expecting to see each other tomorrow. So like, wait, huh? Oh. Cool, so like, so the relationship kind of develops, like they're actually friends now after all this and stuff, they're actually, you know, Ayase actually, you know, tells Okarun that, you know, hey, I wanna, you know, wanna keep hanging out, let's, let's uh, be friends, and because like, it's obviously a signal of friendship that, you know, she wants to actually hang out, so Okarun's like, oh geez, I'm expecting to see her tomorrow, this is kind of nuts. He's going over, like, how he's gonna introduce himself and stuff. But what happens here is, is I kind of flipped over it, so like, during when Okarun's in class, he, he still sees, like, he's still nervous, he's still kind of like, unsure about himself and all that stuff and this is kind of like the main point of this little storyline here is that Okarun is still like not confident with himself insecure and he goes to the bathroom and he's like and he's like he's like whoa I'm s so he's like oh no well, shit he never got his he never got his his family jewels back he seemingly got got the oh geez this is like hard to explain so he's still incomplete so something's still messed up with him and this is like all internalized with him it's you know, Turbo Granny kind of stole it from him, and we kind of see that he hasn't, he, he just hasn't really improved in his self-motivation, and maybe how he thinks about himself, and that's kind of why he's missing his pieces like that, so it's kind of, that's kind of like the, the core of the storyline, so he's like, he was thinking maybe, you know, oh, she's not into me, she's just trying to avoid me, whatever, but, you know, they run into each other on accident here, um, and oh, I've been looking for you all day, well, me too, oh. and so, but, you know, because he's talking to her, it kind of starts rumors with all the other girls and all the, a bunch of other people in school, and that's kind of the main conflict with the story in this whole middle part. Um, and then there's introduced to this girl, and um, she acts like she's nice and she likes it when she makes boys like pay attention to her. But you know, really, she's she she wouldn't really give them the time of day. She just makes them think that to make her feel good about herself. So she acts nice to Okarun earlier, like right here. But it was just an act, so he's he's being manipulated. You know, this is really this would be really bad for your uh, self motivation, self worth, if something like this happens. So I also actually sees this happen, and that she kind of takes his revenge on her real quick, and and this is like where the rumors really start spreading about them because now I also is like being protective of them, and that's kind of like kind of the big big development, and they go back home, and. They they need to figure out like what's the deal? Why why is he missing his stuff? And to me, reading the book, you know, we can infer that like it's his self, it's his how he feels about himself that he's able to. Because I don't think Turbo Granny's just taking it because she can. It she she can take it, but it's she's only able to because of that's how he feels about himself. That's kind of the the point of uh, Okarin's like character arc right now. And so they conclude that you know he still has like. A part of Turbo Granny inside of him, and so they lock Turbo Granny in this little cat fortune uh, charm, and and Turbo Granny's still up no good, but she's very limited in her power at the moment. Um, but she kind of um, causes the havoc that happens in the back half of the manga, in the next storyline that's the coming up. So, and also notice whenever um whenever Okarun transforms into his Turbo Granny uh, uh, uh state. You know, he, he becomes super depressed. I'm so bummed. Oh, I'm stressing this stress me out. Super bummed. All his insecurities come out, right? So that's that those were down there in him already, and this is the this is just the self expression of how he actually feel like expression of how he feels. And it's played off for comedic effect, which is yeah, this is all Turbo Granny's doing. He still has his balls and he took them and put them into little gold spheres and lost them apparently, and so they're searching for him and there's no use. But flip a few pages ahead. Oh, because this guy was spreading the rumors between the two of them, so he turns into the Turbo Granny mode, 
And he's like, this ain't cool, bro. But transforms back to the normal self and he just, you know, he runs off. And then it goes into the girl. She gets kind of caught up and she's like, she's, she hears the rumors of Oak, of uh, Ayase has like some kind of, she kind of knows that maybe she has some kind of weird devil powers. So she's, she trying to take it upon herself to like, to go after Ayase. And she's just being misled. She's actually being manipulated by, uh, by Turbo Granny in this because she's the one who has the golden ball, which is Okran's stuff, you know. Um, and that kind of propels into the final part of the chapter where they encounter another ghost lady, the witch lady here, whatever her name is. She's like, I'm, I'm your mom. Like, call me mommy. And she's like, so she's got like some kind of like, like she'll maybe, maybe she's a evil witch lady because she lost her kid or something like that too. So there seems like there's a lot of that kind of story. There's always like a, a reason for the, the ghosty characters to be the way they are too. I'm your mother. So, like, yeah, she's, like, obsessed, like, oh, I'm your mother. Don't you know me? Oh, blah, 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 blah. But I don't think that's true, of course. So that's kind of, like, you know, she's, uh, <clears throat> this is kind of her obsession and what caused her to be haunted in the first place. Ogren still can use the Turbo Granny mode, and he's probably the strongest fighting asset overall. But uh, Ayase's power is actually pretty strong, too. And so they have a good teamwork. And the the other girl gets captured by her eaten and you know um together ayase and uh okarun use their power and actually manage to save her and now you know at the end of the volume it's time for you know again kind of for the climax of the story to happen where you know the actiony bits come out and where the characters will take care of the maybe defeat the this new this new uh bad lady witch um, this book overall was a little bit faster to read, so because it was just kind of like the climax to the Turbo Granny stuff, the setup when they're at school, and for me that was the most interesting part because it actually had something to do with the two characters and their relationship and their dynamic and Okran's current development. Um, yeah, Volume Two of Dan Dan's really good. I'm really excited to read Volume Three. It's probably going to be a while before Volume Three is published. Um, but this is really good. And Dan Dan is also really good. So if you haven't read, you know, volume one or two Dan Dan, um, I'm trying not to be super spoilery, but um, this is kind of a spoiler review, so I recommend it a lot. Uh, keep reading it. I'm sure there's a lot of people who are ahead online, but I don't really read a manga online that much. It's not really a big deal to me. Um, for the most part, that's that's the storyline. You know, it's only kind of wrapping up one part of a story and then seamlessly going into another storyline, but still Turbo Granny is still the one pulling the strings, which is really interesting. They didn't just one and done with Turbo Granny, which is really interesting. Um... Probably until Okarun has, like, all of his stuff back and he's, you know, he goes through a big first part of development where he's no longer insecure or, you know, uh, kind of like uh, in a, uh, like a manly way kind of weak where he can stand up to people. Like, imagine if he could stand up to that guy that was spreading rumors but without turning into his Turbo Granny mode. You know, once once he has, like, that level of development, he probably he will be free of the Turbo Granny stuff. Maybe he'll, but maybe they'll still have the ability somehow. We'll see how that works out because... It seems like they do like do a lot of battling with, with whatever entity they run to, and hopefully after this storyline is through, uh, we get another Okaran, uh, story where it's primarily about, like an alien. I want to see more aliens because so far we have Turbo Granny and this other witch lady, uh, whatever she, whatever kind of thing she is. I don't think it's listed in the back. I want to. I want to see some. I want to see some aliens. So I want to see how this universe works with aliens. Because we've seen one set of aliens, and it was kind of one and done. They were going after Ayase, the one to reproduce and stuff. And that's kind of like Ayase's character development that she's looking for a partner that doesn't just want her for her body. So it's kind of like a big. That might be a big thing for her. So I want to see that development. So it's. Yeah, I'm really, really happy that I want to get reading on uh, volume uh, three real quick. So. Hopefully it's not coming out, and hopefully it's coming out not too long. So, yeah, that's all I got for right now. So, yeah, thanks. Uh, see you later.